So payments when you are dis uh, disabled. So now we've got a, once again, a kind of a more of a bit of an unusual situation here. Payments when you are disabled. So if you receive payments from a retirement or profit sharing plan that does not provide for disability retirement, do not treat those payments as disability payments. The payments must be reported as a pension or annuity. You must include in your income any amounts that you received that you would have received in retirement had you not become disabled as a result of a terrorist attack. Include in your income any payments you received from a 401k, pension, or other retirement plan to the extent that you would have received the amount at the same or later time, regardless of whether you had become disabled. All right, let's look at an example of that. So taxpayer J, a contractor, was dis disabled as a direct result of participating in efforts to clean up the World Trade Center. Jay is eligible for compensation by the September 11th Victim Compensation Fund. Jay began receiving a disability pension at age 55 when Jay could no longer continue working because of Jay's disability. Under Jay's pension plan at age 55, Jay is entitled to an early retirement benefit of $2,500. If Jay waits until age 62, normal retirement age under the plan, Jay would be entitled to a normal retirement benefit of $3,000 a month. The pension plan provides that a participant who retires early on account of disability is entitled to receive the participant's normal retirement benefit, which in Jay's case equals $3,000 per month. Until Jay turns 62, Jay can exclude $500 of the monthly retirement benefit from income, the difference between the early retirement benefit and the normal retirement benefit, that being $3,000 minus the $2,500 received on account of disability. Uh, Jay must report the remaining $2,500 of monthly pension benefits as taxable for each month after jay turns age 62 jay must report the full amount of the monthly pension benefit that's the three dollars a month as taxable okay simplified method you must use the simplified method if either of the following applies number one your annuity starting date was after July 1st, 1986, and you used this method last year to figure the taxable part. Number two, your annuity starting date was after November 18th, 1996, and both of the following apply. A, the payments are from a qualified employee plan, a qualified employee annuity, or a tax shelter annuity. B, on your annuity starting date, either you were under age 75 or the number of years of guaranteed payments was fewer than five. See publication 575 for the definition of guaranteed payments. Uh, if you must use the simplified method, complete the simplified method worksheet in this instructions to figure the taxable portion of your pension or annuity. For more details on the simplified method, you can see publication 575 or publication 721 for U.S. Civil Service Retirement Benefits. Uh, caution. If you receive U.S. Civil Service Retirement Benefits and you uh, chose the alternative annuity option, you can see publication 721 to figure the taxable part of your annuity. Do not use the simplified method in these instructions.